for those who have decided to examine my autobiography and I thank you so much because my autobiography was not meant to uh, make profit but bring to us an understanding of my life if you're interested and this is this is not to brag but I receive royalties from Amazon for this autobiography and I'm not trying to push I'm not trying to sell however I do mention that this book is available. There are those who say uh, the grammar, the paragraphs or whatever, nobody in 2021, this is, this is the wonderful thing about social media, is that you can write books and poetry and you can sing and you can dance and nobody has to be perfect. You don't have to wonder, do the record company like this? You put out your record and you bring it straight to the people. You don't have to worry about other people judging you. So I write to the best of my ability. And either you read it or you don't. I thank you again for those who have decided they wanted to know more about myself and how I became who I am today. So this talk would be boring to you because <laughs> you already know. And if you would like to know this and more, the link should be in the description box and you can read an excerpt or you can purchase. Also, those who I know, I will give you the draft by email for free because it's not about profit. But my audience seems to want to support me and so you have purchased the ebook or the paperback. So you would know that I was born in rural Mississippi. I believe my people, I'm not really sure, I believe we were of the Southern Baptist faith. I'm not really sure. I just know that we were some form of Christians. But even as a little boy, I became loyal and sincere in that faith as a little boy. I did not know as a child, I did not know what fornication and adultery was but whatever it was, I'm going to keep the commandments of God. So as I grew older and I was introduced to Islam, Islam was no different. I did not know what fornication and adultery was. I, I'm going to keep the commandments of the Bible. I'm going to uh, be loyal to the restrictive laws of Islam as taught by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. I am going to be a moral person. But as I grew older and we began to experience lust and attraction to the flesh of our opposite gender and your body is changing and the hormones are flowing, 
it makes loyalty different and then you have peer pressure or whatever this is where your discipline comes in also I found for myself making the decision I did not want children at an early age and now I know how children I didn't even know how children came into being but now I want to avoid bringing children into this world so I am afraid of bringing children into this world also I am afraid of breaking the commandments of laws of God however I learned not out of fear but to obey the restrictive laws of Islam to obey the commandments of the Bible that was a benefit to me I also learned that myself as a male, I have value. Every woman is not worthy of me going between her legs. Every woman is not worthy of me. So here we are in 2021, and there are those who want to put me into a category I have never belonged to. I've never been a whore. I've never been a whoremonger. I've always been able to control my lust. According to my autobiography, there was a young lady, the first girl I really liked, and I liked that woman, that young girl, for years. When we was children until high school, I liked her. It was not about sex. I just liked being around her, liked hearing her voice, just was in love with her because love is beyond the physical. Many of us, our so-called love is based upon the physical and the material, how much money somebody has, how many houses, how many cars, how big your ding ling is, and that's what you hear out here you don't hear people talk about his mind look how big his ding ling is look at her booty look at her breasts I have always even from a child I've been beyond this I was not able to marry I was not able to be with the young lady that I first fell in love with I was hoping one day, that feeling I had for her, I would also find in someone else. Wink, 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 wink. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> I would hope that I would find that love in someone else. And I did. There was another young lady that I became extremely fond of. And unfortunately, sometimes things don't go in the matter. And sometimes we're not ready for certain, certain things in life. But I still hold these women dear in my heart because... I was in love with them. I was not in lust with them. Now, there's a woman here I had a fake marriage with, and her marriage was based upon not love, but lust, material things, and submission. The love that I had with these women These things was not even an issue. This was about a, a human connection where the mind, or they say the spirit, you have an intercourse with another human being. The material and those things of the flesh will handle themselves. So in America, 
there's an over 50% divorce rate because most of these marriages, most of these connections, they are not made in the spiritual or the mental world. They are founded upon the flesh. How does the flesh look? How much money somebody got? Some type, some type of temporary, because the flesh will fall apart. The material thing, you can become, you are rich and then you can become broke the next day. And then we're dealing with a bunch of liars because you take the marriage vow through sickness and through health to death do us part. Well, clearly you're not dead and getting a divorce because the, the marriage was not founded upon love. It was founded upon something other, material, the flesh. I can count the women in my life on one hand because I'm not a whore. So you have those who uh, your penis don't work and you ain't been with, I'm not a whore. I don't care. I don't care if my penis don't work. I wish I was a virgin right now because I have not found and I'm not, and I, and I'm not been or have not been with somebody I can be in love with, those things work itself out. The most difficult thing to work out is that connection with another life. The respect for another life. And that is why there's a 50% divorce rate. And that is why you have the manosphere and the woman's fear because nobody has respect for nobody. Nobody has no real love for one another. Nobody is trying to connection. It's all about the penis. It's all about the money. It's all about vanity. It's all about greed. It's all about our personal wants. There's no compromise. Somebody wants a slave. So I'm not and have never been a whore. I'm not interested. I don't have to worry about my children all over the country. I don't have to worry about child support. I don't have to worry about baby mama drama. I don't have to worry about all those different things. I was able to avoid because I'm not a whore. I was able to avoid because I did not want to bring innocent children into a life that I know is detrimental to them. You stay where you're at. So I hope to one day meet a young lady I don't have to lust for, that I can, we can enjoy the meeting of the mind. We intercourse with our love and our understanding of life and the appreciation that we found somebody in our life that we can share on this journey till death do us part. And that's what it's all about. So many people miserable in your whoredom. And listen how miserable they are because they are whores and they are fast and they are loose, jumping from one bed to another, still in line to each other. Angel sitting up and up seven is not going to be your whore, and Angel sitting up and up seven has never been a whore, and do not 